What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 8,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But me and my dad are actually just getting out here on the water today, and it is a beautiful day here in Michigan. It's a little windy, so we figured we would come to the inland lake today. We are gonna go out to Lake St. Clair, because obviously, from the videos, you guys, we have been absolutely crushing the Lake St. Clair smallies, but it's pretty windy today, so it's probably super rough out there on the big lake. So we figured we would come to the inland lake and tuck away in all these little bays and hopefully get on some big, largemouth bass. We're really excited to be out here. This is one of our favorite inland lakes here in southeast Michigan. And we're ready to get on them, guys. We've been catching a bunch of smallmouth bass lately so we are ready to get on one giant largemouth bass today guys so we'll see what happens my dad's already back there casting we're gonna work a bunch of different baits today from chatter baits jerk baits my dad was actually out here yesterday and he completely crushed them with like 28 bass so let's see what happens hopefully get on a big one today guys we'll see you on the gopro well guys me and my dad are just rolling up to the first spot of the day and we're pretty excited to be back on one of our favorite inland lakes here in southeast michigan but we are just getting out here like i said it's a little windy today so we figured we would give the smallies a break and come out to one of our favorite inland lakes it'd probably be super rough on lake st Clair today so we're gonna see if we can catch any big largemouth bass today but first off I'm starting off with the jackhammer, guys. This is always a good bait to use in the springtime or even all year round, guys. The jackhammer or the chatterbait is a great lure to catch big largemouth bass. So we're gonna be throwing this around today or maybe some jerk baits, just trying to locate these fish and see what they're chowing down on today. But I'm gonna fish this for a little while. Hopefully we can get on a big fish my dad is already casting over here i think he's got the jerk bait on right now but i'm starting off with this hopefully get a big one today we'll see what happens so guys what i'm doing with this lure i'm pretty much just making really long casts, just like that just make a really long cast and let it sink to the bottom there's a bunch of different ways you can work this lure i'm gonna fish it a bunch of different ways just seeing how the fish are gonna chew on it today but i'm gonna let it sink and almost work it like a jig pop it off the bottom a couple times and then just reel it in super slow and even when you're reeling in you can pause it a couple times or you can even give it a few jerks or pops and let it sink to the bottom but that's pretty much what i'm gonna do today we'll see what happens Got a nice one on, on a jackhammer, slack line, probably a four pounder, high threes anyhow, slack line on a jackhammer, it's uh, I think it's a bluegill color, alright we're gonna let them go. Fish on! Oh. Feels like a tank. Yeah. On the jackhammer, guys. Probably a... Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it is. Beast! Haven't caught a largey in a while. Well guys, there's a beautiful largemouth bass. I was just casting out that jackhammer, railing it super slow along the bottom. And he drilled it, really nice one. Probably like a three, three and a half pounder. I love getting out here, catching these largemouth bass too. Me and my dad have been just strolling them on St. Clair. So it's fun to get back out here, hooking up onto some green fish. Nice one. Gonna throw him back. Guys tossing her back. Nice one. Let's 
See you, buddy. Pretty decent fish. Dad's hooked up on the jackhammer. Fish on, on the jackhammer guys. They're loaded up in here. Feels like a decent one. It's a fish. Fish on. Nice largey, probably a one and a half pounder, two pounder. On the jackhammer. Nice one. It's working it super slow, guys. They're crushing it. Stopping and going. Kind of working it like a jig. Start doing it that way. I've got two fish in a row. Little ones, but they're in here. Fish. fish on. Yeah, holy crap. Maybe you get the camera. You know how to do it. Alright guys, fish on. I just set the hook on a big one. That's a tank. Holy crap, probably a four, four and a half pounder. Yeah. Looks like a big one. Check that out. Beautiful largemouth bass on the jackhammer. They're destroying it right there, guys. Nice one. This is super fun getting out here, back chasing some beautiful green fish, but he's a chunky one. He destroyed that jackhammer. He's barely hooked. Check that out. Just fell out of his mouth. All right, guys, we're gonna weigh him real quick. Yeah. Four, three. That's a big one, probably one of my biggest largies of the year. Almost a four and a half pounder. Beautiful largemouth bass, guys. All right, we're gonna let him go. Nice one. There he goes, back to the stumps. <laughs> that one hit right at the boat.
Fish on. On the jackhammer again. They're liking the jackhammer today, guys. They're destroying it. Pretty nice one, too. He's a fighter. Nice largemouth bass, guys. Probably like a two pounder. He's got a hit mark on his back right there, probably from a bigger fish, but nice one. See ya. Fish on. Feels like a pretty decent one. They're in here thicker than thieves. Dino's on fire today, guys. I'm just dragging it, dragging that jackhammer on the bottom. Actually, just working it like a jig, just buzzing it, let it go back down, buzz it, and then they're hitting it like that instead of just reeling in and out. Since I got back, <laughs> I mean, slay fest. I come out here yesterday, I caught 28 bass by myself. Three pike and one dogfish. From 3.30 in the afternoon until just before dark, I caught 28 bass. Jerk bait and jackhammer. The reason why I know I caught 28, I took a picture of every one of them, son of a Dylan. And afterwards I counted them. And there's one. There's one. Oh. Well, I had him. <laughs> yeah, he's on there. Live action. Oh, what the? oh, he's off again. Set the hook. I could set the hook. You're in the way. <laughs> oh. That's a good size in there. But yeah, they're in these, they're moving up real quick. It's supposed to be 70 degrees today here in Michigan. So I'm sure they're really gonna move up. I caught 28 in here yesterday, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other fish that are moving in, so we'll get fish ahead. We got sore mouth like this one's gonna have. <laughs> Live action. <laughs> They're hitting the jackhammer. They're chewing. Got the power poles down. We're just sitting here. Cast with the wind. There's all kinds of stumps in here. I'm just working it real slow like this. Kind of like just sweeping my rod. And they're loading up on it. Fish on. Just sitting here with the power poles down, just keep casting back in them stumps. Ah, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a good one. Fatty. He's a fat one. Isn't he? Yeah, dang, yeah, that's pretty bass. They're hungry. It's like catching fish out of a barrel. Going after Pigasaurus. <laughs> I just got on telling Dylan, I think we're gonna get a giant today. There's some five, six pounders in here. I've never caught that big a one in a tournament, but I've caught some fives. But there's some big ones in here. Ooh, that feels like a tank. Fish on. I didn't get the hook set on video. I just turned it off, but feels like a big one. Big old largemouth. 
And guys, we, me and my dad have been on the fish the last week or two. Nice fish. They're hungry for this jackhammer today, guys. Super fun bite. St. Clair, but these are the green ones. <laughs> we haven't even fished a good spot yet. Got him. Decent sized fish, about two and a half pounder. We're just sitting here with the power poles down, casting with the wind. Real windy out here today on Lake Orion. Nice fish. Fatty. Fish on. <laughs> it's a nice one. Come here, big bass. Nice fish, guys. They're still munching. My dad's throwing a big A rig right now, seeing if he can get one on an A rig, but I'm still throwing the jackhammer and they're still hungry. See ya. Another fish on guys. Jerk bait. Thing is about these uh, Livingston jerk baits when it's just sitting there, it's making a ticking noise. It's got like a sound device inside, installed inside the bait. When it's just sitting there, it's making a ticking noise. So if you can let it sit there for 10, 15 seconds, it sits there making ticking noise and attracts the fish. That's what I've done on the last two. I jerk it down to the depth, the working depth of the jerk bait, which is probably three to four feet or something. And just let it sit there and while it's sitting there it's going tick, 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 tick. it's making this noise and it's getting the fish to bite. That's what I like about these Livingstons. See I just let it sit there just like this. And it's down there making the noise. Tick 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 tick. And they've been hitting it when I'm just letting it sit there. Well guys, that about wraps up today's video. Me and my dad are just putting the boat back in the garage. We just got home and we had a blast out there on the lake today. We crushed them on that jackhammer. The Z-Man jackhammer is always a great bait this time of year. And like I said, in the springtime, they like the baits super slow and we were working those jackhammers super slow along bottom and they were destroying them guys so we also caught a couple on the jerk bait so it was pretty cool it's always fun getting on a jerk bait bite but really appreciate you guys watching today's video make sure to go hit that subscribe button and we will see you in the next video thanks guys